Hello everyone, this is Indian Sports Gamer. Welcome to IPL Super Over Cup. This is match number 8. It's between Royal Challengers of Bangalore versus Kings 11 Punjab. Bangalore won their first match while Punjab lost theirs. Ashwin took the balling duties and just couldn't control the run flow. So he has decided to give the duties to Andrew Tai who expertise whose expertise is bowling at the death with those knuckle balls. I did my concept and I will be playing as Royal Challengers Bangalore in this match. However, Punjab has won the actual toss in the game and they will be bowling first. So it will be Andrew Tai versus AB De Villiers and Virat Kohli. Here we go. So first ball of the contest, Tai to De Villiers. What have we got? And first ball, De Villiers has knocked it out of the park. What a batsman he has and how lucky is RCB to have AB De Villiers in super over. Just picked the bones out of that. There wasn't much wrong with the delivery. It was a Yorker delivery. Just bit too, too much bit given. He walks down and hits another six. Picked that knuckle ball up and timed it to perfection again. In the same direction, AB De Villiers is in beast mode here. Two balls, two sixes. We have seen him doing that against Bangladesh in the World Cup Super Over. And is that another one? He it is. It is. Ty went for a bouncer there, but again, just too much width given. So De Villiers now goes over third man. For another six, that's hat trick of sixes. We are seeing repeat of that South Africa versus Bangladesh match, aren't we? Oh, that's a good delivery now. De Villiers wasn't expecting another bouncer. Warning given. So he won't be bowling any more bouncers. Four balls. And look at that! Oh, look at that shot! What a shot! He tried to bowl a Yorker, but De Villiers predicted that he will be going for that Yorker. So he stepped down the ground, took the ball as a full toss and just dispatched it over long gone for another six. Five balls, 24 runs scored. What do you do against a man who is so talented? And uh, is that a white ball? Kohli wants a single. He does well to get one. Will that be called wide? No, it's given as pie. So that's it, 25 runs. That's the record so far in the Super Over. In the IPL Super Over, I'll stand corrected. So let's see if Punjab can chase down a record total here. Chris Gale certainly has a history behind him of chasing record totals. It's Chris Wokes against Chris Gale and Aaron Finch. Oh, just a dot ball to start things off. That makes things even more difficult. RCB will be looking to win it by a huge margin so they can increase their net run rate, which will come into a game after at the business end of the tournament. So two balls, just one run scored. We have seen Chennai and Hyderabad winning back-to-back -back games and Vokes just easily doing the job here. His job has been made so much easier by De Villiers. He doesn't have to defend 2-3 runs or even 7-8 runs. 25 runs is just too much in a super over and Gale just not able to time it. This is pretty much RCB's game now, two balls, 24 needed and what a what a dominating win that is, there you go finally Gale is able to pick the bones out of that hits it over the mid wicket boundary for a 6 runs Vokes needs to finish it off well here get that net run rate in your favour and he does Gale just manages to nudge it towards the square leg so RCB has won it by a huge margin 
This was match number 8. RC the second match and they have won both the matches while Punjab have lost both their matches. I'm sure Ashwin will look to bowl in the next match because Ty was just not in the game today. This is Indian Sports Gamer. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Do that thing that will help me. This is Indian Sports Gamer and I'll see you soon.